Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing this overpowered script for the Roblox game Anime Strike Simulator. So if you could drop a like, comment and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. And let's get straight into the video. So first of all, what you guys want to do is head on over to the link in the description. From there, that is where you'll get the script. Now you want to go ahead and execute and this is what it will look like. So Let's go over the settings first. You can choose your theme. If you want a transparent, your minimize key. You can create a config once you go ahead and configure all the different settings. Here in the auto form, we've got auto attack very fast. We've got auto get drops. If there's any drops in the game, we can go ahead and select a enemy for farming. You want to press refresh enemies. Now I do get a bit of lag because I am using blue stacks at the minute and PC executor I use, Wave is down, so if it does lag or crash, that is why. But uh, we'll give it a second here. If not, I'll go ahead and restart the game. And here we are. So we can go ahead and select any of these anime or enemies here. So we'll select this one. We'll do behind, and we will farm that enemy. Now the map hasn't loaded just yet because I must have teleported pretty far away. Let's try and do someone else. Um, so yeah, the map hasn't really loaded in. As I said, it's because I am on blue stacks and it is a bit slower. So we'll go ahead and turn that off and we'll do auto farm all enemies. Uh, once we have this turned on, it should farm any enemy. Not sure if you have to be close to one. Okay, let me just go ahead and farm this person here. Now, there's so many of them, so kind of have to find them in the list. There we go. We're farming a lot easier now. So try and find a enemy that is close to your world or in your world and the farm should be a lot better and easier and as you can see we are getting stars now so that is really really good. Now that is the auto farm tab here, we'll let it go to a thousand just so we can auto hatch um, a little bit easier or a little bit longer. So we're going to turn that off. And the auto attack now it doesn't really collect all of the stars, which is a bit annoying, but it is what it is. So, in the utilities, we've got auto accept quest, redeem quest, we've got equip best pet, we can do passive rolls, we can upgrade and redeem codes, we can. <coughs> Do different things like upgrade stars, damage, power, critic chance, critic damage, and walk speed. So, as you can see, I have done all these codes, and we will have a lot of different stuff here. Not really sure where all the stuff is, it might be in here. Yeah, there we go. So, we've got all the potions, and we can go ahead and do upgrades now. I'm not sure where the upgrades are, but you can do that. We've got modes, so we've got raids, we've got boss battles, we've got time trials and auto farm level dungeon. If you want to go do that, we've got <coughs> we've got exam, so you can join the ninja exam. We've got auto hatch. If we go ahead and do that. We can turn it on now. Pretty sure you have to be like beside the egg, wherever it is. Um, not actually sure, but uh, yeah, there will be an egg somewhere in the map that you can go ahead and auto hatch. It might be in the starting zone, but we've got teleports, so you can teleport to all the different places. So here we go. Um, summon. We can turn that on and it will auto summon quite quickly. 
So that is the auto hatch. Now we can do multi as well. And it should open multiple. Doesn't seem to be doing it. I think you need the game pass for it. And then if we come to our backpack, come to pads, we can go ahead and equip best. And when we go ahead and farm, it should be a lot easier. Oh, I forgot to turn on auto get drops. That's why I wasn't picking all the stars up. So that is that. As I said, if you're on an actual PC Roblox version, that will be a lot easier. And then MISC, we've got anti-AFK if you want to farm for a longer period of time, which I do recommend using a private server for or use an alt account. So that has been everything in today's video. If you guys did enjoy them, please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.